Yo, yo, what's up? This me, it's Joe. If you look for me on Instagram, it's I-T-S and a J with 10 O's, just to let you know. So, what we doing now? I'm doing something that's always been a gift to me, but I decided to, hold on, it's my first time, so let me get all the jitterbugs out. We're watching Good Times. Let me tell you why we watch Good Times, hold on. All right, so the reason why I watch Good Times is always remind me, no matter how many steps you are from being where you want to be, you're only one step backwards to being where you was. Remember that. The next thing is this. I want to tap into something that I always said I was going to do, that I, I've been doing it, but I haven't been doing it to my full potential. And my uncle, which is my uncle Ennis, he pulled me to the side. It's been about six months ago. He always said, Joe, you need to do these videos. You got a story to tell. I always be like, yeah, Uncle, I will. You know, I do got a story to tell. But now, after what just happened on Friday, I really got a story to tell. Everybody know who know me know me. Know that I had two felonies for resisting arrest causing injury to the arresting officer, which I caught in 2006. We all know it came from me pulling away from the officer, ducking down, getting into an altercation with the cops, all because they have the wrong person. Throughout that time, I have did some time in the Michigan Department of Corrections. I also have did some time in the Muskegon County Jail. 15 years later, $2,000 plus later, it's expunged. I am now not a felon, you know? So, like Biggie said, I got a story to tell. So since I got this story, I already made the mistakes, so I'm finna tell y'all so y'all don't have to. So make sure y'all stay tuned every, I don't haven't decided on the day of the week yet, but I will be doing motivational speaking, you know, maybe on a Monday to help you get through the week, maybe on a Wednesday, and then maybe on a Friday because we there, you know, but it's coming soon. Look forward to it, all right? I appreciate everybody, everybody who has helped me, push me, keep me going, whether you're a teacher, my mama in Grand Rapids, my poppy in Grand Rapids, uh, my homeboy David, D. Martin, uh, George, Anthony, uh, Demetrius, a.k.a. Doodle Neck. If I don't mention your name, don't hold it to your heart. Them the ones that just done help to keep me pushing. My Uncle Ennis and rest of my Uncle Kim. Um, of course, his son, Terrence, my Auntie Linda, my Auntie Alvin, my mama, and of course, my granny. And you know, I came into granny, I mentioned Reverend Sheldon, and it's a tons of church people at Christ Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church, located at 317 East Hamilton, where Christian fellowship is real. All right. Like I said, I got a new series coming. It's going to start either today or tomorrow. I will be posting at least once a week with this motivational speaking. I got some hot topics, ways to get through, and if we do it on live... Ask me some questions. We'll go at it. All right. I appreciate y'all. Remember, no matter what you're going through, keep your head up. All right. Don't let it defeat you.